Hello everyone, welcome to part 129 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. Okay, so finally we are going to work on the checkout page. We will start the functionality of the one page checkout. Okay, in which we are going to do these three things. Uh, we are going to work on the multiple delivery addresses. Uh, the user can able to add the multiple addresses for its delivery. And the second thing is we are going to show all the order items that the user is going to buy. We are going to show all the items that the user has added into his card. We are going to show them in the checkout page so that the user can able to review them. Okay. And the third thing is we are going to integrate the payment methods. All the payment methods including COD we are going to show in the checkout page. So in the checkout page we are going to do these all of these things okay so we will call it as one page checkout as well okay so i'm going to show you in our template first of all that we are going to integrate okay uh, so let me open the template so this is our template i hope that you have already downloaded this template in the earlier part of the series and you can open the checkout here you can open this one checkout dot html this update file i'm going to open in my chrome browser okay i'm going to open here and here you can see this is the checkout page that we are going to build okay here we are going to see uh we are going to show here the delivery addresses not the billing one we are going to show here the delivery addresses add delivery address form okay and uh and then we are going to as the multiple delivery addresses option also we are going to add here in the left side of the checkout page but in the right side of the checkout page we are going to show the order details complete order details or the card items all the product items we are going to show in the right side of the checkout page okay so here here we are going to show all the payment methods at the down like the cash on delivery paypal or whatever uh, paypal uh, that uh, payment method that we are going to integrate for our website that we are going to show here so here complete checkout page here this is the last page and after that we when we place the order then the order will get placed okay then we will show the thanks page to the customer okay so let's start working on this checkout page so first thing we are going to work on the multiple delivery addresses so this is the first option we are going to work on the left side of the checkout page in which we are going to manage the multiple delivery addresses. We will give the option of add, edit, delete, uh, delete the multi, uh, that delivery address option. And we are going to uh, show all the delivery addresses that the customer will add. Okay. So, uh, so first of all, in this video, we are going to add the, uh, uh, we are going to create the delivery addresses table with migration and we'll add uh, one of the uh, one of the address with the help of cedar okay so that we can able to use it so that thing we are going to do so let's start working on this thing let's create the table with migration so i'm going to run the command here uh, this is my project folder ecom9 is my project folder i will right click and a new terminal folder if you are in windows you know that you need to go inside the folder in windows and then you need to run uh, the command okay uh, you can use the git bash or you can use the command from it's your wish so uh, we can run now uh, we can create the migration file uh, so uh, we are going to create the delivery addresses table for that we are going to create the migration file php artisan make migration create delivery addresses Make sure that spelling are correct. Create delivery addresses A double D R E double S E S. Okay, fine. So we can create this file with this uh, artisan command. Uh, this migration file. We can open this one here. Create delivery addresses table. Okay. So now here we can add all the columns, all the required columns, all the uh, columns like. Uh, uh id then user id uh, for which we are adding the address name address city state country pin code mobile status all the columns we are going to add up here okay so let's start with the uh, first one that is the user id we require the user id here uh, for which the address belongs okay 
we will take the integer user id table once again and this time string name and all other fields we are going to do it like this so that we can add all easily okay address city state country pin code mobile and uh, status and now the tiny integer is good for the status and we can just give here the status and we can remove the rest okay like this so then make sure that we have all the columns all the required columns user id name address city state country pin code mobile status uh, okay so it's fine so now uh, we can run the php artisan migrate command to create the table php artisan migrate okay some issue has come we can see the table coupons already exist okay if such thing happens if uh, then there are two ways uh, to do uh, we can either open the migrations here here you can see uh, we can see all the migrations here uh, create coupons table either we can remove this one from here or we can simply remove its file okay move that file from the migration from the migrations folder okay uh, we can go uh, inside database uh, then migrations okay and then we are going to remove that file uh, we are going to search for the file name here that is related with the coupons we can do it like this and we can search uh, for that file okay create coupons table and create coupons table and i am going to remove this file uh, okay one of the file that is the duplicate file i have removed that file and i am going to try once again and still the error is coming and still the same error is coming i am going to remove this one as well now it must work fine now we are going to see so this time it is working fine and you can see the create library address table has been created okay now you can check it here as well it will uh, add, add it here create delivery address table has been added here okay so now we can check here we can go in ecom 9 and we can check here uh, we can see here delivery address table has been created okay so now uh, we are going to add uh, one uh, column uh, sorry uh, we are going to add one entry into this table so for that I'm going to run this header command here okay I'm going to create one file but before that I'm going to create the delivery address model as well that is required for this header as well because we want to add the entry into the table with the model okay so we are going to create one model here PHP artisan make model model for the delivery address is table delivery address and so the name is delivery address so it will be like this okay so model has been created now we can create the cedar file php addition make cedar we are going to create the file with name like delivery address table cedar okay so this file has been created every just table header okay so now uh, we can create uh, entries here okay so what we can do here use first of all we are going to include the model here models delivery address Okay, so here we are going to make it like delivery records here we are going to enter all the records like uh, ID 
Oh, one record is enough for now. User ID, user ID, we can make it one. Name Mir Gupta. Then address. Address here, you can give any address. Okay, and city. I'm going to give a new daily. Okay, and state. I'm going to give here like state daily. Country. I'm going to give here India. You can add your own address here. Input for testing. Okay, pin code I'm going to give here 1001. And mobile 9812345678. File status. I'm going to give here status as 1. Okay. So one address is enough even uh, if we want to give the another one we can give the another one as well simply by copy paste and here we can address add the another one ID will be 2 for the same person and here address uh, we can make some changes like I will give here another address Ljubljana okay like this okay another address of the customer okay so now uh, we are going to save this entry delivery uh, in the delivery address model we are going to give and insert i'm going to insert these entries like this okay so now we are going to uh, open that database seeder in that i'm going to run in the same way like it is here okay so i'm going to run this one i'm going to comment this one and here delivery address whatever its name is its name is delivery address table seeder we are going to copy this one and we are going to call this one so that it will insert the entry into this uh, seeder okay so uh, here we need to run one more command here last one php addition db c okay so uh, so we are going to see what error comes this time i think some error comes in this code our code okay uh, call to undefined function insert i think uh, i have done one mistake here uh, now it will it must work fine okay so now we need to check once again and now it has been done okay you can see um, delivery address table seeder is working fine and you can check here okay so our entries has come up in our delivery addresses table okay so now two of the entries we have added in our delivery address and in the next video uh, we are going to start working on making this page into our laravel we are going to merge this page we're going to unbend this checkout page in our uh, website okay in the checkout page uh, okay so we are going to unbend this one and we are going to make changes to show the delivery address that we have just added these two delivery address we are going to show these delivery addresses here and along with that we are going to show to add the another delivery address if the customer want to add some other delivery address then we're going to show the form so that the customer can able to add the another address along with that we are going to show here the details of the order that the customer is going to buy and along with that we are going to show the payment methods okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye